man police say killed an Ohio teenager appeared in court today. 18 year old Ricky Williams now facing charges in the stabbing death of 16 year old Gina Berger. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 anchor Mike Clark is live in the newsroom. Disturbing new details. Mike, hard to talk about this. Wendy, this is gruesome. The police report describes the savage murder of Gina Berger, 16 years old, and stabbed to death inside a third floor apartment in Austintown, Ohio. The suspect allegedly carrying Gina's body outside, stuffed inside a child's pack and play. Let's take a look at Ricky Williams in court earlier today, where his bail was set at $750,000. Police say he stabbed Gina Berger in the chest, then discarded her body in a garbage dumpster at the Compass West apartment complex where she lived. And this is chilling. The report says Williams asked the dead girl's mother if she wanted to buy the pack and play. Moments before he hoisted it into the dumpster, Gina's mother, Jackie Bacher, told police she saw the child's playpen in the dumpster the next morning, not knowing her daughter's body was beneath it. Gina's body was discovered two days later at a Mercer County landfill. Police found the words kill for fun carved in a hallway wall and found blood inside that third floor apartment. Police say a female witness said that Williams brought Gina Berger to her apartment and started beating her on Monday night, then stabbed the teen, pulled the knife from her chest, smelled it, and poked Berger to make sure she was dead. The witness said she helped Williams dispose of Berger's body in the pack and play because she feared for her life. He held him in the, in, in the apartment. He he then uh, wielded a knife. Um, he uh, scared her to the point where, after the girl was stabbed, he forced her then to help dispose of the body. Okay. Prosecutors say Williams had no visible place of residency, no job, and little education. Authorities also charged Williams with criminal trespassing, kidnapping, intimidation of a witness, tampering with evidence. Two counts of abduction, possession of criminal tools, and abuse of a corpse. And they say if convicted, he is eligible for the death penalty. We'll continue to follow the latest developments in this case. Live in the newsroom, Mike Clark, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.